we have some feelings, some reactions, some thoughts that we don't like. So how many thoughts do you have like this per day? There's lots of other stuff which is worthwhile, let's focus on that. <laughs> individuals, sometimes we have some feelings, some reactions, some thoughts that we don't like and we think that they are not proper. What we do with that? How can we clean ourselves quicker? Because the time is short, we need to do it quicker. That reminds me of the Kodi Swami. So, this was almost uh, maybe eighteen, twenty years ago, maybe little more than twenty years ago. More than twenty years ago. Uh, must have been in eighties, eighty-seven or eighty-eight. I was just new in Tamil Nadu. I was doing a program in Tirupur town. Then people told me there is one Kodi Swami, I said, why is it Kodi Swami? Kodi means uh, ten million, okay, it's a number. It's just that the man keeps saying Kodi, Kodi, Kodi. So people believe that they will get millions if they go to him. They said Kodi Swami, I said, I'm not interested in ego seeing any Swami. Then uh, they said, no, a lot of people, you know, they get wealth if they go there. I said, I'm not interested. Then they said, uh, this man does not shit. Then I thought, okay, I want to see this man. <laughs> if a man does not shed, either he must be incredibly clean or he must be full of shit. <laughs> so I said, I want to see this man who does not shed. So the morning I finished my program, evening again I had another session. So in between we drove, which was uh, maybe a little over hundred, hundred fifty kilometers probably from where we were and we just drove. So we went to one place, it's a… it's one of those old, uh, you know, Jamindari homes like old landlords live in large houses. At one time they had huge acres of land and servants and things, so they managed them in pomp. But later on, government passed a law that nobody can own land more than this much size, so the house was oversized. It's like the colonial homes, you know. And uh, usually they're very dilapidated and in bad condition because they cannot… they don't have the money to maintain the huge house. So somebody has housed this man, it may not be his house, somebody's housed him in a place like that, which is an extreme state of… Uh, it's a ruin house, okay, it's like a… If you look at it from outside, you wouldn't think it… anybody's living there. It's an abandoned kind of home, full of… Uh, it's overgrown with all kinds of stuff all over the place and full of cobwebs and it's a classic… Uh, what those uh, haunted homes, you know, abandoned haunted kind of home, everything falling apart. I thought, okay, some millionaire, okay <laughs> And I walked in and there was an open yard and there was an attic on which he's supposed to be there and there were a few women who were attending to him. And I walked… I climbed up the attic and there there was a huge… Uh, maybe you have uh, not seen in India in the dramas and uh, in some people's weddings they use huge throne-like chair, this big back and this big, it's not made for a human being, it's made for a… you know, uh, an elephant-sized ego. <laughs> no human being can fit into it, he'll be so small. It's not made for the human body, it's made for the human ego. Big chair <laughs> Obviously it won't be comfortable but that kind of a chair <laughs> And uh, that do not… Uh, there are some which are expensive chairs like that. This is one of those typical drama chairs with all gold paper stuck to it, gold and red and you know, because Hindu heaven is all gold and red, that's the decor. Remember, in case in your dream it comes, you must know when you're in heaven, you know. 
the decor will be all red and gold <laughs> So one of those chairs uh, which totally… it's also in ruin, any time it'll collapse, it's that kind of chair. And this man is super small, he's just shrunk, shriveled out like a squirrel which has starved for fifteen days. Like that he is. In the chair, he doesn't even occupy about uh, uh, maybe one-fifth of the chair, you know. He's like really shrunk. And somebody gave him those king's clothes, which once again straight from a school drama cupboard, all supposed to be gold, it's not gold, gold brocade, but it's plastic brocade which looks like gold and oversized clothing where three people like him can get into that coat, <laughs> that kind of coat and just sitting, he looks old. People said he's over ninety, he could be anywhere over seventy-five, eighty, but he's totally wizened out, you know, shrunk and shriveled. So some of these ladies were keeping some cheap uh, chocolates in his mouth and he spits it out and they take it and give it to people and this is the prasadam offerings. And then I looked at the whole scene but I came here because uh, <laughs> you know, he doesn't shit. So I just walked around the teak and then went there, there was a door and I opened the door and it was a toilet. Then I called one of the ladies and I said, there's a toilet here, you said the man doesn't shit, people say he doesn't shit. Uh, <laughs> Just once a day, he… he goes. Well, I also go only once a day, I don't sit there the whole day <laughs> Most healthy people go only once a day <laughs> Oh, once a day he sits, so people are willing to overlook. After all, just once a day, in twenty-four hours just once you can overlook that, yes? So how many thoughts do you have like this per day? You can overlook that <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, if you just overlook that, you would be a saint, you know? <laughs> See, the man just does it once a day and people overlook that and he becomes a saint. He even draws my attention. He makes me travel all the way and come and see him because you overlook that once a day shit. So you may be doing it, what, ten times a day? <laughs> Just overlook that, it's okay. There's lots of other stuff which is worthwhile, let's focus on that <laughs>